Now here are some things in saving your graphic that you may not have known. So the first thing I want to do, of course, is save. So file, save as. We're going to call this Canada One, okay? Call it whatever you want. Now, you'll notice that this is empty. The first time you use it, it's going to be, it's going to be blank. So I'm going to call this Canada Images, okay? And I'm going to hit save. And then it's saved. Now when I go back to select my designs, you'll notice I have a category that says Canada Images, okay? Easy. Now I click it and it pops back up. Okay, so that's easy. Now let's say I'm working for a client and he wants three or four different designs. Okay, let's say he wants the word welcome um, to be white. Whoops, to be white. And the word Canada, let's say he wants that, uh, let's pick up a color from the mountains. So if I use this color picker tool, I can click it and we'll pick up some of the Canada mountains here maybe, or the green. Eh, a little too light. How about the blue? Blue snow. Eh, all right, there we go. So let's say he wants uh, a different iteration of the graphic. So now we're gonna save it into the same Canada folder like this. We're gonna save as, we're gonna call this Canada 2. Okay, and then this little arrow, click it, and you're gonna see your first folder you created. So I'm gonna click there, and I'm gonna save it. And now when you go back, you're gonna have your Canada images, right? And um, you're gonna have the second iteration. So let's say he wants another one. You can just keep making different colors or maybe even a different background. So let's say we want this to be yellow this time, okay? And the word welcome, he wants it to be bigger. All right, that kind of thing. Save as three. And I'm gonna find it into that. Okay, and when I go back, I have three. And you can have four, five, 10, 12, whatever. Now watch this trick, okay? So let's click on one of the images here. Now let's say I have a different image. So let's get rid of the ca Canadian image here. Go back to photos and we'll pick uh, Paris. Okay, and we'll find a good Paris image. There it is, good. Okay, bring it down. All right, and now we don't need the reflection on this particular image, so let's just call this uh, Paris. Okay, you got the idea? I can make this uh, white if I wanna make it stand out, I guess. I can bring it bring an outline to it. Okay, you got the idea. Okay, now I wanna save this, it's not Canada, I wanna save it into the Paris folder. So now I'm gonna hit save as, and this time I'll call this Paris one. Okay, and now I'm gonna name another, I'm gonna create another folder, and we'll call this Paris images. All right, and then I'm gonna hit save, and now when I come back to select my designs, I'm gonna have Paris images and Canada images. Okay, so Paris images here, and I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna make the, uh, the text yellow if I want to, all right? And then I'm gonna save as again, and we'll call this, of course, Paris 2, all right? But instead of naming something here, we're gonna go back to that folder, Paris images, so this is how to categorize your graphics, okay? Now, if you really wanna get into, the, into the, uh, the mechanics of where the software is saved, you can go to your desktop. This work, I'm, on, I'm on a Mac, but you can do this on Windows as well. Go to your desktop, and in your, in your documents folder on your computer, okay, there's, you're gonna see Laughing Bird documents. That's where the images are all saved for the program. If you open it up, you're gonna see all of the graphics that come with the software that you might have purchased. But you're also gonna see a folder called My Designs. And when you open it up, there's my Canada images and my Paris images. And I'm gonna open that up. Here's Canada one, two, and three. And my Paris images, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, whatever, right? So that's how to categorize things. Now, don't name these folders manually on your desktop because the program will get confused, so don't touch it. 
Instead, try this. Let's say, let's go back here. Let's say I want to move uh, this Paris image into, um, into the Canada folders. So up here under File, you'll notice Select All and Deselect All, okay? There's a little check mark right here. If you click it, you can select this graphic, okay? <clears throat> select All will select, if you have tw 200 logos in here or whatever, you can select all of them at once, deselect all of them. But if you'll notice too, when I click on one, a menu item pops up, Move Designs. I can move it, click it, and I'm gonna move it where? To my Canada images, all right? If you have six or seven different folder structures, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a list. I just have one other one, Canada. So that's why I only see one here, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna move it. It disappears from the Paris images and it appears in the Canada images, okay? So that's how you can structure things. Let's say I want only yellow graphics, okay? So let's go back, let's click on um, this one. And I'm gonna call this uh, yellow graphic. And I'm gonna save this to another folder called yellow images, right? We'll call this yellow one and save it. And now I go back to my, to my, um, in my folder structure, my images here, and I'm gonna take all of my yellow graphics, this one and this one, and move them all into my yellow images, okay? So then I hit move designs, find yellow images, move them all, and now I have all my yellow images collected, I have my blue images collected, I have Paris images collected, okay?